I didn't get a chance to show you the spell build for Cloud in the previous video that I made a few days ago, but this is definitely something that I'm having a ton of fun with, it's something that's really powerful, and it actually goes hand in hand with a few of the other characters to make a really awesome synergy that deals a ton of damage and staggers enemies very fast. So in this video we're gonna dive right in with the spell build for Cloud, as well as another one that a lot of you guys have requested for me, which is a more balanced one between both melee and as well as spell casting. So let's jump right into it and as always a thumbs up on this video would be super awesome. I also want to announce our April giveaway winner that won our previous giveaway and of course he could have chosen any game he wanted from the list but in this case apparently this guy chose an EA Access Pass 12 months for Xbox One. So congratulations to him for winning the giveaway. As always, a huge shout out to Instant Gaming as well for helping me organizing these. And don't worry, for everybody else who has been missing these, I'm going to organize another one this month. So stay tuned for that as well. Of course, the best fit over here is going to definitely be the Mithril Saber that fits like a glove for this build. It provides you a big amount of magic attack bonus. There's also some really awesome perks in there that will make you sustain your damage for much longer. Like this is the only one that provides a 50% buff to MP regeneration in the fight which is going to be very important for this build since you don't really have other means to regenerate MP. There's also a nice trade-off ability that lets you get even more MP when enemies deal damage on you and furthermore this is buffed by the fact that there's a 20% MP cost reduction with the spell attacks that you're going to be doing when using this sword. Of course, assuming that you invest points into those which you should. I'm also running with a chain bangle in this case, though usually I just run with a cock bangle. In this video I just wanted to showcase a best case scenario and finally I'm also running with a fury ring that I've covered in yesterday's video but this is an all around amazing item to have despite of its trade off but this makes up for me lacking two magic cup materials with this build and kind of brings my damage up to par with, uh, with a build that would otherwise have it but would have to sacrifice two materia slots. Materia wise I went went in with an elemental and linked it to a spell to make use of that 10% efficiency rate with the passive from the Mithril Saber which is super useful because it kinda compensates for the lack of melee damage that I normally have with a build like this and despite this being more spellcasting oriented you are still going to have those melee attacks as part of your rotation to generate ATB to put some stagger on the enemy as well as just you know generally dealing damage against the enemy. Um, the other one is binding though in this case this was one of the material slots that I told you you can simply skip so it can be binding I just wanted to test things out and uh, put enemies under the berserker buff so that I can deal double the damage with the fury ring on as well but you can replace this with for example a time materia maybe a chakra materia to heal yourself in battle maybe even a healing or revival I've also added a new type of materia for cloud that I haven't used before but this actually fits way better than I thought the skill master materia that gives you quite a big ATB increase when using more than three types of commands and since you're basically a hybrid in this case using both regular attacks as well as spells this means you're doing a ton of commands which means you're gonna benefit from this way more often and all of this translates into your build being way more spammy with all of its attacks and spells so you should probably add this in your build as well from here on it's the familiar the stat fast block to kind of compensate for the fact that we're using a fury ring and we're constantly under that berserk so we want to uh, mitigate as much damage as possible with our blocks. I've also added the first strike materia but the reason for that is because I'm synergizing Cloud's build with Aerith's build that both deals a ton of damage and healing and that's the one that I covered a few days ago but this is how the synergy goes. Basically I'm trying to make use of her arcane ward and have both of the characters double cast their attacks and immediately put pressure on the enemy as soon as the fight starts and also dealing a huge amount of damage. So this basically lets me do that. I immediately start precasting a fire attack for example with Cloud, immediately put down an arcane ward as he is still casting. This usually lets me save a few seconds and also kinda immediately starts putting pressure on the enemy before he gets a chance to do anything and then I'm also doing a cast with Aerith herself and from here on if I have enough material 
I can just go in and just do continuous casts with both of the characters or otherwise go in with Cloud and build some of that ATP to do that again. The rest of the items are pretty much stat increases, so 2 HP ups to kind of compensate for that fury even more and be more survivable. And then I've also used 2 MP ups, though I will say this. One of the MP ups is actually not really that necessary. Um, you get about 120 with only one, so that is more than enough since you also have that 50% uh, increase to MP regeneration, but for this one I just wanted to be as spammable as possible, so that's why I went with it. Again, you can uh, replace this with maybe even a magic up materia and increase your damage even more and make it even crazier, assuming that you're running with the exact same setup that I am. Now obviously the advantage over here of running with this build also comes from one of Cloud's main sword abilities, which is going to be that blade burst that he gets from reaching 100% proficiency with this Mithril Saber right here, but this is quite an inevitable part of the build because unlike all of his other spells, this cannot be resisted. There's no resistance to this type of spell, it just deals regular damage, so it goes up against literally anything in the game, and it's also quite interesting to use because it gives you this small wind-up animation before it, and then immediately start jumping into a smash into the ground that makes a three-way split of the spell to reach different directions, which means that you can essentially hit multiple enemies at the same time, if they're one in the back of the other, they are all gonna get hit by the same amount of damage and it basically mows down everything in its path. The only downside to this is that yes, it's missable, so if the enemy jumps away, you're pretty much wasting a cast, so you might wanna do this when you're sure that the enemy is stuck in place or maybe even staggered, but otherwise it also kinda sticks you in that animation which might put you against harm's way so definitely make use of this when you know that you have the room for it. Now this brings us to another interesting build that I actually used for the first time I finished the game and that was with the Buster Sword because I really wanted a really balanced build which the Buster Sword is the perfect tool to do just that. So the only thing that will change with this build compared to the previous one is the fact that we are now using the Buster Sword but I'm using pretty much the same items with the build and with the fury ring and the cock bangle but uh, in terms of the buster sword the advantage here is that it provides flat out stats to everything to regular attacks to magical attacks defenses hp increase and there's also some bonus there for your limit break damage and limit break regeneration which can be really useful in longer fights. Otherwise the materia build is pretty much exactly the same with a few differences here and there, so I'm still using elemental plus the spell, skill master and steadfast block. I'm still using 2 HP ups to make up for that fury ring, a first strike materia, a deadly dodge and finally another binding to increase that damage even more, but again you can take down one of the HP ups and replace it with something else, you can also take down the time or the binding materia in this case and use it with something else, but this is the build that I kinda used in my case. Now I've tested this against the pride and joy fight without using any god or damarangs or anything that lets me immediately start with like an old ability except with the first strikes and the first attacks on these two characters but this is the strategy that worked really well for me and yes I can confirm that pride and joy wasn't that difficult even with this build and even with like a buster sword and a hybrid build that kinda is a jack of all trades it still works extremely good if not even better than maybe other builds because some of these bosses on the way that you're gonna be fighting can have all kinds of weaknesses and all kinds of immunities so so with this build you're basically covering all sides and nothing will escape you. Now as far as the battle settings go, I kinda went in with the more melee focused attack build, so in this case instead of using the blade burst like how we did in the case of the Mithril Saber build, we went back to Infinity's Edge and the reason for that is because this can still deal 9999 damage even if you don't fully spec into melee, that's really a very good ability, um, it's even better now that you're using the fury ring so it's almost always 9999 damage against most of the staggered enemies so yeah, this is the build for now, I'm pretty sure that we are kinda done with all of the builds in the game, maybe with one exception, which is range attack damage for Barret that's gonna drop sometimes really soon, and that's something that I'm really excited for. Nonetheless, as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and peace!